Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. I am thrilled to be here today, and I hope you are too. Grab a cup of coffee or a glass of water, and come on over and join me. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be pretty simple, but I really like simple. And some days, that's all we need is just a quick idea. So, Thanks for joining me. I'm Candy Michael in Powell, Ohio, and today I am going to be showing you how to make some gift card holders for a wine bottle. And gosh, this was something we did years ago, but we made them as just a hanging tag. And I thought, hmm, why not add a little pocket to each one and make it a gift card holder? So hi, Jean. Hi, Deb. Thanks for joining me today. I'll be using our stamp set called Banner Year. Love this stamp set. Um, it's meant to have sayings for all different, or stamps for all different um, holiday occasions, and it's gonna work perfectly for this one. So I'm gonna be using the Christmas wishes and the Be Merry out of this set. And also the most important one is the To From. And then I will show you another one that I did uh, using Tis the season to be jolly. But most of these will work. I needed smaller words for the front of my pocket, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I will also be using the Taylor Tag Punch on my wine uh, gift card holders. And of course, you know what I was thinking about when I was making this, and not everybody drinks wine, but um, you can use it for beer. <laughs> and not everybody drinks beer, but... You could actually put this on over like a soda pop bottle and um, put a gift card for maybe the movies or maybe some um, some fun like treats at the store to get for watching movies. So, OK, enough talking. Let me get started again. I'm Candy Michael and I do have a website, CandyStampers.com. And by the way, today. Hi, Jocelyn. By the way, today, Stamping Up is offering free shipping on any order over $50 before tax. And that is a great deal. So we have a lot of stuff in our current mini catalog that is going away. And so you can jump on and order some of your favorite things before they go. So this is the current catalog that will be retiring soon. And they've already announced it. And I have this information. Um, I do have it on Facebook as well. So I posted it, I think, this morning. But anyway, you can also go to my website and it will direct you to the correct place. All right, let me get started. So now I need to clean this off so that I can stamp and roll up my sleeves and get ready here. So I'll set all this stuff aside. And I want to bring over my scoring tool. If you guys don't have this scoring tool, I'm telling you, it, it's a must. It's big, but I use it all the time. Now, my project today... Oh. Mm, I'll show you what it looks like. Sorry, I'll show you what one looks like. And then you can, um, and then I'll show you the other ones later. But this is one that I made, and I'll be making a different colored one. But this is one that I've already made, and it's just adorable. Now, I will bring over its unopened bottle of this is one of the smaller bottles of wine, but it literally just like hooks on to the front. Oh, let me see. Just like that. I'm trying to see the camera there. It'll hang just like that. So isn't that cute? Very simple and super fast. You could make a lot of these in a very short time if you have a little assembly line for everything that you cut. So let me show you how I did it. I also have a larger bottle of wine, and I'll bring that one over afterwards when I show you exactly what I did to make this and a couple other ones using different papers. So pretty much I just changed it up to give you a few ideas. So our score tool, um, I cut my paper at my cardstock at three, and this is Misty Moonlight. It's three inches by ten and a half. Okay, so write this down, three inches by 10 and a half. And I'm going to score it at two and a half inches and then again at seven and a half inches. 
So one side is going to be a little bit bigger than the other. The big side is what's going to hang over the wine bottle and the smaller side is going to be my pocket. Okay, so that's going to fold up and this is what's going to hang. I'll move my little score tool out of the way so I can show you exactly what I did. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna punch out my um, little hole for the top to hang it. And I simply took my ruler because this is three inches. I came down into the middle because this is going to get punched. So I just marked where my three and a half inch mark is because that part will be punched. And all I need to do is flip my punch over. Now I'm going to be going with these score lines here. So it makes it easier if you kind of bend that back and then you'll have an idea and just a tiny bit should be showing off of the top and you'll have it right in the middle. Oops. And then you have to line up the dot that you draw. I'm looking at the top here. Hello, Kimberly. Welcome. So let me get that right about in the middle, as long as it's close. And then of course you've got your fold there. Now don't throw this out because we're going to use it. Isn't that fun? Because normally I would just pitch this, but I found a way to use it. I, I made a way to use it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I now want to add my piece of white. I'm using white cardstock here. And I'm going to steal it from this piece here. This is where I'm going to stamp my two from. Um, when you look at this one, my gift card will slide way down. So I want my two from to be here, but when I first made my first one, I put it up pretty high and my ribbon kind of covered it. So you do want to kind of eyeball that. So if you have gift card holder or even just for sizing, you could put a credit card in there just to get your sizing and then you can kind of eye where you want your to and from. So this piece here, my um, white, is two and three quarter inches wide by two and a half inches tall. Now you could just make it a square because this is going to fit right up above it. This part, I'm sorry, will go right here. It's going to cover it. So if it's easier to just make it a square, just make it two and three quarters by two and three quarters. That would be the easiest. But I always want to stamp first in case I make a, a mistake. And yes, that happens often. So let's see how I can do this. All right. Now I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight ink. And here's that cute little two from stamp that's in that banner year set. So with this, again, I'm just going to kind of eyeball, but you know what you can do also if you're worried is just kind of place your ribbon so you have an idea of how wide your ribbon is. And then you'll have an idea of about where your stamping should go. So that's my marker. Ooh, pretty. Love this color. Well, again, if it's blue, I love it. I love blue. Okay, so next I just want to glue this on right up towards the score line. And I am using my multi liquid. Mono multi liquid glue. Love this glue. So I'm going to see this. I hope you can see that score line. I'm going to use that score line and then just center it from there and also on the sides. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome. So you see, I just kind of used that score line there to eyeball where I can get it straight. Okay. Next, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create my pocket. So we've already got our score lines. This is the smaller piece. This is the two and a half inch side. Again, this is your three, three inch. And all I'm going to do here is put some of our terrible tape. And I love it because it is literally terrible. See, you can just tear it. Haha, <laughs> fun play on words. I do that all the time. It's probably getting to be old, but that's all right. So you want to put it as closely to the side as you can, and it doesn't have to go to the bottom because remember, this is a pocket and it, your gift card holder will, your gift card will not fall out. So 
you don't have to have it go all the way to the bottom. I just need enough to keep that really strong and I want to push it as far over to the edge. So my gift card, you will see here, will now have room to slide in and out. So give it a lot of elbow room. Okay, let's go ahead and just simply glue this down. This is such a fun project. And again, I was thinking, gosh, you know, if if you want to give the kids like any kind of a, I don't know if you give them soda pop, but they even have, you know, some of those bottles that, those power drinks or things like that. You can put these right on there as well. Okay, so we're going to fold that up. Now I need my pieces for the front. And I really struggled with this. So I'm going to ask you guys what your favorite color is. I'm using our Whimsy and Wonderful Designer Series paper. And originally I was going to use this side because, well, because it's blue. <laughs> it's the Misty. But um, I just couldn't find the right color to make it pop off. Originally I was going to do it on the craft and it just looks so ho-hum. And I wanted it to be bright and fun. So I decided to go with this side. And so here's my question. Do you like it with the pink behind it? That's question number one. Or do you like it with the, I like the ornaments too, Carol. Hey, how are you? Or do you like it with the mint? So I just wanted a, a an idea of what colors you guys like. Do you like it with the uh blushing bride behind it or the mint. I was going to use white, but that was way too much white, but that's because I was originally using the blue. Hello, Lisa, welcome. So what do you think? Green, mist, uh, the mint, blushing bride. Whoever answers first, I will pick that color. Let's see, anyone? Valina says Blushing Bride. Thanks, Valina. We're going with that one. All right, so let's go ahead and glue these two together. And then we can glue them right onto the pocket. This is such a fun little project again. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a gift card. You could put money in there. You could put a check. I know my boys would always like money, Mom. And really, they don't, they don't drink wine. They don't really drink much at all. So thank goodness. Um, for, for me, but anyway, so this will go right on the front here and it's going to fit just perfectly right to my pocket, but my Anthony loves soda and he would like that with, um, popcorn and candy and any of that. Okay. So I'm just centering this on here and gluing that down. Isn't that cute? So now this becomes your pocket. Oops, I better let that dry for a second. Okay, so I'll let that sit there. I'm gonna go ahead and tie on my, my knot here, my little ribbon. This ribbon is beautiful, and it's our glitter glittered organdy ribbon. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the light on it. It really is pretty. And all you need is a simple knot. What I did with this was I cut it at 10 and a half inches. Okay, let me tell you also, the Blushing Bride, hello, Stephanie. The Blushing Bride um, piece here is two and seven eighths by three, two, two and seven eighths by two and three eighths. So I did it just because I wanted it just a little bit smaller, but you can go on down to um, quarter sizes if if those eights get to you. <laughs> I know some people say don't do eights, but it did look good with just a little hint. And then the designer paper on top is two and three quarters by two and a quarter. Oh my goodness, I feel like a contortionist. There we go. <laughs> Got it. So you can easily bend this and slide your ribbon up just a little bit further if you want it. I want it, it to be right up by that score line. And then the cool thing is this ribbon kind of twists and it will cooperate with you as it is with me at the moment. <laughs> I won. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to give it a nice little edging here. A finished touch 
I should say. This literally has glitter in it. It's, it's just beautiful. It's just woven right in. Isn't that cute so far? Okay, so let me show you how this goes together again, very simply. And the ideas, all I did was walk over to where all my designer paper was and said, all right, which one are we working with? And it just takes a little bit of paper on each one. So let me bring over the big bottle of wine, the big bottle. And I knew because of camera space, there was not a lot of room for the large bottle, but look at how gorgeous. Is that not cool? Do you love it? Okay, so there's that one which is the one we just did, of course. And then this was the first one I did. Well, I made this one as my sample, but this literally just folds and hangs over. And I used the tailor-made punch because it was very handy, very simple. I don't have to um, really die cut anything. So this is a project that anybody can make and um, would be just kind of a fun thing. All right, so let me go on. I can put my, oh, I didn't finish the front. Oh, silly me. I was thinking I was missing a step. So I told you not to throw out your punched piece. This piece is going to get dement with dimensionals on it. <laughs> Thought I was done, I am not done. We're gonna use our dimensionals and the part that I marked is going to be on the back. So nobody will be the wiser. So this is going to simply pop up if you love your little elements here, just pull it up a little higher so that you're not totally hiding it because that little deer face is adorable. And then just kind of center it about there. That looks good. Now I cut a little strip. These are my little clippings after I cut my cardstock down. I, I have a drawer full of these that I, that I keep. They're actually, what is that, a half an inch? by uh, two and a half inches. So I'm going to stamp on here using, again, the Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to stamp on this one, Be Merry. So I have Christmas wishes on here. On this one, I'm going to do the Be Merry. And it's really cute because it kind of has a little swirl to it, but a little swooshy to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right on here and hope I can see the center through the camera and holding my breath. We hope it's straight. Yay! <laughs> Sometimes it's crooked and I just go with it. Okay, so now, better clean that one off because I might stick it in a, another ink pad. Okay, so with this one, I'm now simply going to just glue it right across here. You can you can cut out little flags on the sides if you want, but I again, this was just meant to be super easy. Easy peasy. So I'm just going to glue this down and using this glue, I can adjust where I want it to be. Is that just not adorable? Now, of course you can bling it up by adding some little diamonds. All right, let's do that. They're right here behind me have to have bling, some kind of bling. Let's see which ones I have here. These are kind of tiny, but the project is pretty small, so that's all right. I'm going to go with it. We'll just put one on either end here. Be merry. Why not be merry? There, now we have a little bling because that makes it just finished right? Oh, this one. Look at that. I can dot my eyes. It's so much fun to play with these. I could dot my eyes on the Christmas wishes. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you like it? So I'll show you again another one that I'm going to make with you. And it's um, going to be this one. But I'm just going to show you again how I did it. So you guys have it down and then I'll bring over the bottle and I have one more that I've already made that I will show you as well. So to make it simplified, I've already gone ahead and scored my pieces. Let's see if this is right. Okay, 
So I scored it again at two and a half and then seven and a half. The, the piece that's actually three inches is my top and then this is going to be my pocket that'll fold up. So first thing we wanna do one more time is go ahead and just measure, find the center, measure it out, find the center, make a mark because you're going to punch that out and just kind of center that. Looks good. And then hold on to that piece, hold on to that scrap. All right, we're gonna take our upper piece here and stamp it. And this one I'm using our Real Red ink. Hi, Karen. I love the Real Red. And here is my two from. Make sure I did clean that off so I don't use my blue ink that was on here before. And we're just gonna go ahead and eyeball that right about there. I'm being really daring. So I just needed a little room for my ribbon on top and that should be about right. It's okay if it's not, I won't cover it too much. But I thought, how cute is that? You can just write your your name on there and, and give it to your friends. Send it over to a neighbor. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't you love being that neighbor that got a gift like this, <laughs> like with a gift card? It could be for the grocery store or favorite dinner place. Even like a, a donut shop or something. Put with some, put it on a bottle of water and take it over. It could be very simple. Okay, so we have that. This is going to hang. We have our two from, and now we just need to make the pocket. As soon as I see where I buried my terrible tape, my tear and tape is what it's really called, but candy, me, I call it terrible tape because it can be torn. There we go. And I just need it on the sides. Just two pieces. Right here. Looks good. Get it to the edge. Don't forget that. And then with my couch, <laughs> don't poke yourself with the tool. With your tool here, you can peel off that paper so easily. Makes it really nice. Okay, and then like I said, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you one other one that I've already made, but I'm gonna just kind of walk you through what I did. Now this one, here's the um, other one. Oops, I hung it back up. Here's the one I did earlier so that I could show you my sample. And I used the pear paper behind here, pear pizzazz on the pocket. And so I thought this one, I'm gonna use some red because the top of the wine bottle actually is a red color. Might be more like a cobbler, but it, it all still went very nicely together. So I thought, I'm going to pair my wine with red, a red color, <laughs> red with red. They're all in the same family, right? The same tones. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue my front of my pocket on. La, la, la. Again, you can write your name. You can do all sorts of stuff with your glue. I know, I've probably been around it too much. Hello from Florida, welcome. Thanks, Kathleen. And then we're just gonna glue this on. Now you can do that before you glue it down, but I can see where my little edge is right there. So I'm gonna glue that on there, make sure it's straight. It is straight. I'll let that dry for a quick second. And while I'm waiting for that, I can grab my 10 and a half inches of ribbon. And then I'm going to just simply tie this on. And then I'll show you our little tag again for the front. And then this will just go around in a square knot so it'll lay flat to the sides. Love this ribbon. And it's really easy to work with. Again, if it's not in the middle, if you bend your piece, even on a card, if you bend it, your, your ribbon will slide either direction and it'll slide up and down as well. So that is a fun little tip if you're struggling with moving, positioning your ribbon with where you want it. Sometimes it's not in the right spot. 
There we go. Cut those little ta tails off. And then we would take our gift card. I'll throw that on there in a minute. But next I want to do my tag, one more tag. And I'm going to do Be Merry with this one. Again, I'm going to use our Real Red ink. I just love all these colors. And I'm so excited that this year the Christmas colors are more of like the Blushing Bride and the... um. Well, our Misty Moonlight is very popular, too. But some of the whimsical colors and the mint. Oh, so pretty. Be merry. So the piece that we punched out, we're going to pop this up using some dimensionals. And I'm going to just put that side down because we marked it. So you guys, don't you think this is like super easy? Do you have any other ideas of what? You, you could probably even tie them onto the front of a package and make like a cute little tag hanging off of a package. What other ideas could we do with them? You guys have any? You can share. Everybody will come up with something different. And then we go, oh yeah, why didn't I think of that? Let's see if I can read the comments here. And then I just literally laid this across the top. Right across that punched, that punched out piece, I can now use that element and it all just makes it all go together. So these are the ones that we made from um, this designer paper. I'm turning around to see. These are two more that we made from the um, Whimsy paper. Oh, this paper, by the way, is called the Heart Warming Hugs. And, oh my gosh, there are so many different patterns in there that would go great for the holidays. And that was my whole idea, was just to give you some more fun ideas to use for the holidays. Um, but isn't this pretty? Look at the different colors in here. I really love it. And then I did one more that's already done, and I'm going to just quickly show you what that is for another idea to kind of change this up. So this one... I will hang it on a bottle and put the gift card in it so it makes a little more sense for you. But I had an idea of wanting to have kind of an element over the top. And this was what I ended up coming up with. And where are my dies? My dies are right next to me. So I was thinking, well, what about like New Year's? If you wanted to do maybe a, if you're going to a New Year's party or you want to take um, you know, a gift to your neighbors again for New Year's. So this is our um, brushed metallic foil, and it is very, very pretty. I had a chunk here somewhere. I may have taken it back to the other table. But it has, like, this really pretty texture to it. And, again, this, I just used my elements that I had. So it would just hang very nicely. You could put a gift card in there for a dinner house or the grocery store, whatever you can think of. Hi, Denise. Welcome. So these dies, what I did here, and I glued only the bottom part on, and then this can come in and out. So I was thinking we could even do that with those whimsy trees that we have. You could put like a cute little tree here and then the tag hanging over. But these are the dies that I used. This is called... Uh, Christmas cheer and there are a lot of dies in this set I loved it because I love that happy it was so big and I I'm also a scrapbooker and I thought oh that would be really cool all of these would be really nice on a scrapbooking page so there's quite a few dies that come with this set this one goes here and they're just fun and festive so I wanted to go ahead and use these so I die cut out the word cheer and it was pretty flimsy i was a little worried that if i didn't back it with something hi tess that it might be like too flimsy and it would it would tear easily so then i die cut it out again in our white thick cardstock and i thought that will give it a little bit of stability so i'm gonna go ahead and just glue this on right on the front and I'm just going to, if my glue will cooperate, kind of dot some glue on here. 
and then this will make my foil paper a little bit stronger so it hopefully won't tear but if it does as long as the people get it and it's all in one piece that's what matters right our neighbors our friends so this is just going to be glued right onto the top and i like using this glue because i can slide it around if i need to but this makes this just a little bit stronger to hold up and then i literally just put the glue down here and glued it on and came up with that other element over here. So I was thinking that would be really fun to have, like the, like I said, a tree or some words. And I was so excited. We don't have a lot of our words that go in this direction. Most of them go um, sideways here. So it was really fun. As I was looking through my dies, I wanted to do something different for you. So this could be your New Year's go-to and grab a bottle of wine as you're heading out the door and or head to the store, grab a bottle of wine, but you'll already have your gift card holder already made. So I took the punched out piece from here and I glued it in this direction and then I punched out another one just out of white and then just glued it across. I, I was trying to keep these very simple for some very simple and fun ideas. Hi, Pamela. How are you doing? Well, Pam, I guess I should say. Okay, so we take our wine, we hang on our tags. We have one for the holidays, for New Year's, I mean. And then we have, I like the blue one. Well, I like them all, but I have my other one for, <laughs> for my little bottle. And by the way, I, I meant to Google to find out what you call, and tell me if you know, you can, you can, um, type it in here, what you call a small bottle of wine, because I know that it has a specific name and I totally forgot before I hit my live button. So I was hoping to show you like how super smart I am and have it already all, all in my head, but I didn't. So if you know, please do tell. So thanks, you guys. I'm happy to show you these fun ideas. I was, again, hoping to do tons more. So this has been a really busy week for me. I have a big event on Saturday. I'm renting a place over here in Powell, and I will be having some my my sample cards will be on sale there and you can choose the ones you want obviously and then I will have some chocolate dipped goodies like some Oreos and some pretzels and mush um marshmallows I almost said mushrooms <laughs> chocolate dipped mushrooms thanks Mindy chocolate dipped marshmallows um and some other good little treats like that and then I'll have some of my paper crafted products and uh, oh, and some used stamps. Just a few that I've gone through because I have a lot of used retired stuff. I have a huge amount, but that will be a bigger sale in May. But Saturday, I'll be having like a small amount there so you guys can all look through them. So come join me Saturday. Um, the information will be posted on my website. And I um, am so excited to see everybody. It'll be from 1130 to 3. And again, the, well, the address is 4040 Presidential Parkway. Um, this is my website, candystampers.com. Is that even in the camera? Can't see. Oh, yeah, it was. And thanks for joining me. And then Sunday, everybody that's on my team, and I see a couple of you guys here. Thanks, Carol. I see a couple of you guys here, and I'll be seeing some of you on Sunday at our team holiday party. I cannot wait. That's going to be a blast. So thanks for joining me. I will be back next Wednesday at 411 for some more Stampin' Fun. And more holiday project ideas because I love coming up with these and I still have more gift card projects to show so I will be posting those on Facebook as soon as I get through this crazy weekend promise <laughs> thank you everyone have a great weekend and hope to see some of you that are local soon and take care thanks for joining me have a wonderful day bye